Have you ever seen an interesting bird and then looked it up in the field guide and then become so overwhelmed that you couldn't find it there? You may be so overwhelmed and confused by the number of birds and the way they're arranged in the field guides that you gave up. There are over a thousand different species of birds found north of Mexico in North America. And scientists arrange these into 86 different family groups. And field guides follow this scientific sequence. This can be very confusing for beginners. But you can identify birds. In this video, I divide North America's birds up into 14 groups to make it easier for beginners. And the best part? You already know representatives from most of these 14 groups. Let me show you. I'm going to quickly run through these 14 groups. Then I'll go back and take some time and show you examples of birds from each of these 14 groups. You already know ducks and gulls and herons. You certainly know turkeys and eagles and pigeons and of course hummingbirds. That's half of the bird groups. If you saw a bird similar to one of these groups, you'd be on your way to identifying them. Let's look at some more. The following birds are birds you might see in your own backyard. Many people don't know flycatchers very well, but you probably recognize jays and robins. Do you know chickadees or the tiny little colorful warblers? If you feed birds, you know sparrows, and you probably know blackbirds. That's it. How many did you already know? If you see a bird, you can now match it to one of those 14 groups. Let me show you some more birds, and we'll match them to these groups. Number one, swimming water birds. Ducks, geese, swans, and other water birds that swim and feed on the water. They generally have webbed feet. Two, flying water birds. These water birds generally feed by picking and diving into the water from flight. If a swimming bird isn't in the previous group, it's probably here with these gull-like birds. This group includes many seabirds. Wading water birds. Many of these birds feed on the beach, shoreline, or while wading in shallow wetlands. Many have long necks, long legs, and long bills. Number four, chicken-like birds. These birds should be familiar to most people. Five, raptors. Birds of prey is a varied group of hunters, hawks, falcons, owls, and eagles. Six, miscellaneous land birds. This grouping is kind of a hodgepodge of larger stocky birds that don't fit into the other groups. I include pigeons, woodpeckers, and parrots. Number seven, aerial land birds. These birds spend most of their time flying in the air and feeding on flying insects. Eight, flycatcher-like birds. Here is another group of insect chasers these, however, generally perch on a branch and wait for insects to fly by before sallying out, grabbing the bug, and returning to their previous perch. They tend to sit upright. 9. Jays and crow-like birds. These are stocky and familiar birds with strong legs and heavy pointed bills. 10. Thrush-like songbirds. The birds in this group are often found on the ground or lower shrubs. They tend to be long and their posture is horizontal. Most have pointed thin bills for eating insects and fruit. Eleven, chickadee and wren-like songbirds. Here are some round-bodied little birds of the woods. The chickadees are black and white. The wrens are brown with tails that stick up. Nuthatches barely have a tail, 
and walk head first down the tree. Most of these birds are colored black, white, gray, and brown. 12. Warbler-like songbirds. Here are some small birds that search for insects in the foliage, often in the canopy of trees. Many are colorful with yellow and green. Warblers are quite active, flitting from branch to branch. Vireos are sluggish. 13. Sparrow and finch-like songbirds. Here are the birds that eat seeds at your feeder. They have thick, triangular beaks for chewing seeds. Sparrows tend to be earth tones. Male finches are often red or yellow, females streaky brown. Fourteen, blackbird-like songbirds. Here are black-colored birds often found in flocks in winter. There you have it. I hope this helped you. No doubt you noticed that not all birds fit neatly into these 14 groups. That's why scientists recognize over 80 family groups in North America. This list should give you a basic idea of the groups of birds and also show you how much variety there is. Don't let the sheer number and variety of birds keep you from trying to learn about the birds in your area. Go out and identify birds. You can do it.